Alrighty, what is happening everyone? Hope you all are having a fantastic day today. Thanks for stopping by on our continuation here of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Let's play here on the channel part 9. Uh, last episode we left off, we went and fought the Spear Samurai. We talked to our one Samurai friend over there. Showed you a little bit of the farming route, you know, conquered the Blazing Bull. So from what happened from last episode, I basically, since we did get that one shinobi prosthetic tool from the key that we unlocked, I just went back, I talked to the sculptor, I had him put it on for us, uh, so you can see that here, the loaded spear. I did do a little bit of farming as well as you can see in the, um, oh, wrong menu, let me go into here. As you can see in the skills here, honestly didn't take me long at all, it took me like 30 minutes to get all these points, uh, so I unlocked the, um, other skill here as well as the descending and ascending carp and then we went with flowing water and breath of nature i could have kept farming honestly to get um the double and the ashina uh, cross too however i kind of just didn't want to it's a little bit boring honestly uh we can just get it you know through regular play and whatnot it's not that big a deal uh mainly why i wanted to farm up and just get these ones is because they're just very helpful tools so you you could see as this one acquires the latent skill ascending cart latent skill that increases the damage inflicted to posture upon performing a successful deflection so our deflections are going to make their posture go up a lot faster uh, same with the descending carp the descending carp a latent skill that for a few seconds after deflection increases damage to enemy posture from all sources so if we get a successful deflection off and we can hit that's going to raise their posture up too which means faster kill times the flowing water uh, reduces the amount of damage to posture when attacked by an enemy with a sword so it reduces our posture damage by others with swords so we're not getting postured up as quick either and you know postures that builds up on our end leads to stuns which isn't good the breath of nature light uh, recovers posture upon executing a successful death blow so not only did we unlock the um, one here that we were saving up for uh, the breath of life which recovers vitality upon performing successful death blow. Successful. Um, basically, we get life life back, and now we get posture damage back, or posture build up back too. So that's going to go down off of a successful death blow as well, which is phenomenal. So all these skills here are just there to help you out, you know, which is awesome. Is which is what you need. Uh, I did go back and talk to the. Um, merchant as well not the mob merchants but the one that we talked to for the information i just talked to him he basically tells you to eavesdrop on somebody to get some information which of course i will let you guys know when that opportunity is that shows up uh, for now what we're gonna go ahead and do is basically clear this whole entire ashina castle area before we go to the very top um of the castle right there above his man bun so basically we're going to clear everything out around here that's going to kind of maybe involve one or two episodes then we're going to keep going from there uh this is like i said you know the farming route that i had used previously to just get all my stuff done like i said it took me less than 30 minutes to do everything uh to get all those skills acquired and everything so really really quick uh so what we'll do starting out is we'll go ahead and go over here and fight the uh shinobi guy in the well that i was talking about earlier the one that is a big pain in my ass he's probably gonna whoop up on us here a couple times uh so we'll just rest up here because this is the closest one won't have to worry about any of these guys we can just come right over here uh honestly we didn't need to even jump up there my bad we'll come right over here you can jump right off of here right up onto here just take out him doesn't really matter that everyone sees us, because we're about to go around this corner right here. You could probably just jump over here if you wanted to. There's the samurai guy still there. I believe it's after we find out the information, we can come talk to him again and send him to the... Send him to the uh, merchant to help him out, uh, I believe. We're going to put on the oil cans here and the flame vent. Because we're going to try and oil him up again. Uh, remember, like I had said, we are able to drop down on him from here. Easiest way to do it because it takes off one full health bar from him because he hits very hard and is a very big pain in the ass. So um, let's go ahead and give it a shot here. Um, firecrackers out to stun him as well. So let's get to it. Some up. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I can't see. Oh, okay. Stall oiled up. Make sure you jump over that one. Uh oh. Oh, jeez, he caught us in the corner there. I'm just gonna go ahead and resurrect. I'm gonna stun him. That way we can get out of here and heal up. Like I said, uh, you, I should have dodged forward there on that one, um, because you can make Kiri counter his foot, which we would have just beat him right there if we would have, even though we did beat him. It's okay. He gives us a prayer bead, which is nice. And access to back to this first area. Um, I don't believe... Oh, okay, we can get up right here. Let me see. Got some scrap iron. Okay, yeah, this just leads to the abandoned dungeon. Uh, we'll go through this area after we end up clearing everything, as you can see down there in the bottom left-hand corner. It's a shaman warrior. Uh, that purple stuff around him is terror. Uh, and I don't remember if you guys um, remember I had mentioned something about terror and us being able to get like a terror umbrella, which is my favorite. Uh, Shinobi prosthetic is the umbrella which is really cool. It makes fighting him very easy. Uh, terror is something you definitely need to be aware of and on top of, especially because if your terror bar fills all the way up, oh, we don't even have to go back here. Let's see. Uh, if your terror bar builds all the way up, you die instantly, like no matter what. So ha having the umbrella that blocks completely terror damage is very useful. We don't need it, but it does come in handy. Plus the divine confettis too. The divine confettis are a weapon buff that help against things that are like undead, such as like the shamans and the headless. Uh, the divine confetti, it works magic. Uh, it makes you do a ton more damage, which is obviously awesome. Um, we're just gonna travel back to the castle entrance here so he wasn't so bad um could have been a lot worse i mean he did take us down so you know he did beat us in the first but we were able to come back and get him okay i will come and fight the big samurai boy uh you know what let's just go ahead and do that uh the best thing to do here with the big samurai that's right here in the middle he about to kill everyone anyway. Okay, so you basically, you kind of just want to, because all these guys are riflemen, you don't want to have all of them shooting at you while you're trying to defeat the samurai who has two health bars. Get your shuriken out, throw one of the shuriken at them. As you can see, it took down half of his health already. Oh, okay, they all spotted us. Uh, that's all right, let's try and do this. So two, uh, two shurikens takes them out, so... Um, Try and okay, mess, messing up a little bit here, but that's all right. Let's just take him out. Big samurai boy on us. Woo! I'm out. Okay, and then with that, you taking out everyone, I would recommend just uh, resetting him. So basically, just let him come down here. I don't think he can go past a certain point anyway. Yeah, he can't. Um, let him reset so he'll walk back up to where we can try and get one of the stealth blows on him. Makes the fight easier. Like I said, 
If you want to challenge him with the two health bars, feel more than free to. This just helps us out a little bit more with um, beating him. I don't know if we're able to sneak up on him right here. Let's give it a shot, though. Okay, he saw us anyway. Okay, I just need to let him reset. Let's just go over here. That way his health bar goes away. If you ever do just completely leave an area too and you see their health bars disappear just like that, uh, that means they will fully get all their health back. Oh, great. Okay. Perfect. Um, where can I get up? Right here. Okay. So make sure you fall in the water that is part of the pro strats. Go ahead. If you want to, you can just sneak up on him from behind. You could get up on the rooftops too and uh, take, uh, do a like stealth bomb on top of him. He's just like any other uh, of the big samurai we've fought before. You know, big hits. Make sure you're dodging the sweep ones just like that. Uh, remember, we, he does have a thrust move, so you are able to uh, Makiri counter his thrust move. So make sure you're looking out for that. And I don't know if you're able to tell, but we're doing a lot, of, a lot, a lot of posture damage off of our deflex and counter hits too, uh, from those skills that we acquired, which makes these fights a lot easier. So that's why I recommended. Like I said, it took like 40 minutes, or not 40 minutes, 30 minutes. I just saw the four on the prayer beads. It took like 30 minutes to do it. If that, I just threw on like a little video that I could watch on the side while I was just running that path, doing the farming method. Very simple stuff. Uh, I'm just going to come back and rest just because, or not rest, um, but I will just come back here because we have four prayer beads now. And that increases our health even more. Uh, we won't rest because it'll reset those enemy guys up there since we didn't use any health anyway. You know, we're fine. So let's come on over. Open the chest here. Divine Grass. Uh, the Divine Grass is very helpful too because it fully restores your vitality and cures all status abnormalities. So if you have like poison, terror buildup, anything like that going on, you can use one of these, fully heal you and take all that stuff off. Uh, we can't lock the door yet because it needs to be unlocked from the other side. We will of course go ahead and do that. Let's see here. Oh, those guys up there, the, the one that just jumped down absolutely hate those guys so much they are big pain in the butts they hit very hard they can throw those little fuck those doohickeys they have in their hands right there not fun not fun ladies and gentlemen all right let's go down here though we can talk to homeboy Dana, <laughs> だったらよ。この辺りの侍どもを黙らせちゃくれねえかい。ちと下手こいちまってな。しつこく追われて参ってるんだ。まったく足名の真面目侍どもめ。俺なんか追っかけてる場合じゃないだろうによ。Okay, so what he basically wants us to do. この辺りの侍たちを黙らせいいネタを旦那に押し is take out all the samurai around here and he's gonna you know sell us uh some information or not even really sell you know he'll give us the information uh there's only a few of them around here so it's not even like there is a lot of course i want to take out the gun boy right here first mikiri counter the guard Bit of him another spear another mikiri counter Easy peasy, folks. Easy peasy. You want some too? Get parried. He doesn't know what's going on. He about to learn today. Night night. Got another gun boy up here. Surprised he didn't learn from watching all of his friends get murdered. What's up? Oh. And just like that, kicking ass, taking names.
or as uh, my favorite line. Oh, he spotted us. See, he throws those things, which is not fun. Let's try and go up to where he's at. What's up, boy? All right, he's down. Before I was rudely interrupted, the one and only legendary Mantis in Infinity War. We take ass. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I totally just screwed that up. I went mind blank. We take ass and kick names, I believe is what it was. Huge fail on my part, I know. I'm a disgrace. Hate on me down in the comments. Oh. I tried to be funny, but it really didn't work. So, Nightjar Beacon Memo. So, basically, he just um, gives us this bit of information to go to the top... ...to the top of the castle, um, where all the pink smoke is, so like that smoke, that smoke, there's one right on top of there, leads all the way around the castle. So let's use our shinobi skizzle dizzles here. Hop from rooftop to rooftop. Oh, was it? where's one at? Oh, there he is. Oh, see what I mean? How's that fair? You just die already. I guess it. Pain in the butt. I hate dealing with those guys. Um, oh, there's a rat down there. Oh, he spotted us. I don't. I, oh, jeez. Uh, like I was saying earlier, if you have the loaded axe, whenever you fight these guys now because of their hats. Uh, I think it's. Yeah, there we go. Two swings of the axe. Takes out their hats. I'm trying to see, just so I can make sure I'm not missing any items or anything. There's one there. The shard. Okay, so we're good there. Keep rolling here. Is there anything over there? I don't believe so. Okay. I'm going to try and sneak up on him over here. Nighty night. Can we get up from here, or is it over here? Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, 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 Harry God over here. Okay, that's that taken care of. See that guy up there? Make sure you watch out for him. I'm probably gonna get hit right here I want to try and not if I can but he's gonna come down you'll be able to hear him oh okay I was I was able to do it I lost my lock on there for a second if he if he hits you like going full force down there like that it is uh I believe he just one one completely one shots you
So just make sure he doesn't hit you on the way down. Um, something I did want to bring up and mention as well, there are four different endings to this game. The good, the bad, the neutral, and then like the best ending basically. Um, I can't remember the one that we're going to go after, which path, good, bad it is. However, it is the ending that leads us to all of the prayer beads, as well as it leads us to every, uh, pretty much every single boss encounter. So that's why I'm going for that ending to show you guys is because of that. Uh, there's one instance where you can end the game very early on just by doing, oh my gosh, okay, that was, oh, okay, we <laughs> almost fell again. Um, like, like I was mentioning, you can basically end the game very early on by doing a specific ending path. Um, I wonder, can we grab here? Okay, perfect. By doing a specific ending, you can end the game pretty much at that like halfway point, or in a, maybe like 75% point. Uh, but to get the uh, full ending, we need to do some specific things. Of course, you know I'm going to walk it through here with you guys on like what the requirements are. Uh oh, who spotted me? Oh, him over there. Oh no, there's two of them coming after us. So it'd be good if we could not fight all these guys at once. Oh, there's four of them. Even better. I don't know where the other guy went. We still got these two right here. Okay, sorry I didn't talk there, that was a little bit intense. <laughs> I think that's majority of them cleared out, hopefully. There is another uh, sneaky boy right up there on that kite thing. Uh, I believe he has a bomb attached to him, so if you get hit by him you're definitely gonna die so we're gonna um ooh, sorry excuse me uh we're definitely gonna try our best to run just right past him ooh, excuse me there's a path that we can take right up to avoid him pretty much I'm just making sure there's no items over here just some lizards okay so it's right on the other side over here. We're gonna go ahead and come down. And we're gonna scoot past this item real quick. Hop right up here. So he killed himself with the bomb that leaves. Did he take out the other guy too? I believe he did. So that takes care of both of them. Go ahead and scoop up whatever he's got. Uh, down there in the water, as you can see, those are fish, but they are not the treasure carp. They do, they're like big piranhas, basically. And further down in the water, you can't see all the way down. Maybe you can. If you see, like, right above his head, I'm trying to maneuver it. Oh, no, that's just some grass um, or moss, but, or maybe it's the reflection in the sky. Who knows? But underneath the water, when we get the breathing underwater skill, there is a headless under there um, where he gives us the permanent sugars. Let's go ahead and hop up right here. Open this up. I believe this is another gourd seed. So we could take that to Emma. Perfect. Yep, gourd seed. Fistful Ash as well as another resting point. Not gonna rest right here, however, just because, like I said, you know, I wanted to be able to show you guys all of uh, Ashina Castle, like the walk around. 
Um, you know, actually, yeah, we're gonna have to go this way, so feel free to rest up right here. Now, these guys, all this area in here is actually going to be, uh, like, filled with a bunch of these samurai guys. These samurai guys do hit, like, trains as well. Uh, I wanted to just sneak up on him. Uh, make sure when that move comes up, you um, either Makiri counter it or... I don't know how I got out of that animation, but get out of it if you can. If he hits you with that forward strike, it does a lot of damage to you. Uh, so you can see there, there's one right there. There's a little old lady. She's kind of like the uh, warning bell, basically. There's another one there. You can see right in front of him, too, there's another one in there. Plus, there's like two more over to the side over there. This area is a big uh, pain in the butt. Um, now that he's over there, I'm just going to jump over here. Later on, there is an ogre that's going to be right in this building, too. The ogre is uh, not friendly. Uh, as you can see, we have some basic enemies right down here, too. We want to go for the samurai right there. So when you come right down here, drop right on top of him. Take him out, because these guys are just uh, regular old samurai that are beating the crap out of me. <laughs> What's up, bud? Nighty night. Okay, so we'll collect everything from there. We got a divine confetti. That's right. I forgot about that. Getting that divine confetti from him. You can farm up divine confetti from all these people in the blue that are upstairs. So if you ever run out of the divine confetti, uh, make sure you go farm these guys. Very easy to farm. You just got to be stealthy about it. You can get all of the... Uh, guys up here and they usually drop a divine confetti every run sometimes they drop two uh, So just stick with it a little bit if you're running out and you'll get it in no time. Uh, we got some items in here The door that we opened up was that shortcut earlier. I Believe this is another shinobi prosthetic. I want to say Yes, it is. It's basically like kind of like a short blade used to like kind of extend combos and things like that So very cool item uh, we can go right over here Open up this door. So, don't fall in the water uh, if you can avoid it. Let's see what's over here. Okay, so we got Spear Boy. Trying to avoid him. Very easy to fight once you have the Makiri counter and everything, but it's like if we have these tools at our disposal to be able to sneak up on them uh, very stealthily like you saw that there. Pro strat sneaker here. And we take him out. So these guys are the ones that you want to eavesdrop on. Like I had mentioned earlier, for if you went back and talked to the merchant, these are the ones that you're going to want to eavesdrop on and listen to because they give you some information that you take back to him. Hmm. <laughs> Perfect. So now that we eavesdropped on them, let's just go ahead and uh, take them right on out. Go after the big boy first. Just because the gunners go down very easy. Another gunner over here.
we will go over there probably in the next episode just so I can get to the other um, sculptor's idol that's over there to show you guys. However, there is one right over here too that you can get. And I will explore this area right over here as well in the next episode just so we don't have this one run for a long time. Uh, so this right here, as you can see, is our first Dragon's Blood Droplet that we do get just for free. We don't have to buy it from anyone or anything like that. And like I said, if you do get people sick and you go back and talk to those people that are sick, it will enable you to help Emma find a cure, which is what you inevitably, inevitably, inevitably want to do just because she gives you a free one too. Uh, we haven't died too much so far in our playthrough, so I'm not really worried about using one just at this moment. Uh, you mainly want to use them, you know, when you're confident in going ahead in different areas, you know, where you're not dying as much just because you don't want to keep using your resurrection tool and keep dying and keep using up your blood droplets just to keep doing things. Uh, if you ever get to a point in the game where, you know, you kind of just want to progress maybe some side quests or talk to other people or do things like that that do have the dragon rot, I would suggest, just suggest using it to be able to keep going with those people uh like for instance you can give sake to the sculptor you can't really give him the sake right now because he has the dragon rot i will get rid of the dragon rot so we can give him the sake because he does give a little bit more of his like background and other things like that uh, however we're gonna go ahead and end the episode right here i did go ahead and look up that infinity war quote just so i knew i was right or could save myself from earlier we kick names and we take ass. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode here. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. Thank you all for making it to the end. If you guys are watching this far, make sure you guys like, subscribe if you're new, share it around with your friends and family, hit that notification bell. So that way you can get notified when these videos go live. And uh, I shall see you guys, she, I shall see you guys in the next episode. Take care.